because we are such in the time that people look good, but they are not good. We are such in a time that people are doing good, but they are not good. We are such in a time that people look lovely, but they are not loving. I've heard of this message over and over and over since yesterday. This is one of the last episodes uploaded in Emmanuel TV, and uh, it's Evangelist Shina uh, with the sermon. And I believe this one, Holy Spirit, delivered the sermon directly, not only to me, even to you and to other people. And uh, this one is one of the services we really want to hear over and over. And uh, because of that, I've really associated this message, uh, not just to people, but also to my life. And uh, I've just found one song also that go with it. The message is continuing after this song that is coming. The song is in Swahili also. I don't do songs in this program so much. But this one song is touching. It's talking about the heart. My heart is prepared to serve and meet the will of God by Sister Feni. May us see so much about the song. God bless you as you keep looking on it. Thank you so much. That's a sister Feni. She's also an evangelist. She's also a pastor. She's also a preacher. And uh, now we are going straight to the sermon and take heed of every instruction God is using to give the sermon across. We will continue with the song after the sermon. God bless you. We go by appearance, packaging. But Jesus looks at the motives behind our actions. But men look at those actions on the surface. Jesus look at the reasons why we do what we do. But men look at what we do. Jesus look at the real 
motives, but men look at the outward actions, appearance. And Prophet T.B. Joshua of Blessed Memory said, appearance is deceptive. It often leads to wrong conclusion and causing many to go astray in their family, in their businesses, in their relationship, in their marriage, because they go by what they can see. Are you one? Men, we know what men can do, but Jesus knows the designs of their heart. When man speaks, Jesus knows whether the intent, the aim, the purpose is to merely to flatter or whether it is genuine. As in, in the book of Luke chapter 20, you read from verse 20 to 26. And you read Mark chapter 2 from verse 5 to 9. That is Jesus' encounter with the Pharisees and their disciples whose intention were to trap Jesus, but he knows their thoughts. Today, we have many people who are like the Pharisees and their disciples, and Jesus knows their thoughts. Tell your neighbor, Jesus knows your thoughts. So because Jesus knows your thoughts, you are bound to weigh your motive as a Christian. And that will be our word of encouragement this morning. Weigh your motive as a Christian. Tell your neighbor, weigh your motive as a Christian. Yes, you are to weigh your motive as a Christian. I mean, take your motive into account to have better understanding of why you need to weigh your motive. Please turn with me to the following scriptures. We start from the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 16. We read from verse 1 to 3. We also go to the same Proverbs. Chapter 21, we read verse 2. And we also go to Jeremiah. Chapter 17, we read verse 9 and 10. So the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 1, says, The preparations of the heart belongs to man, but the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. All the ways of a man are pure in his own eyes, but the Lord weighs the spirits. Commit your words to the Lord, and your thoughts will be established. Proverbs chapter 21 Let's read verse 2 to give us a better understanding. And verse 2 reads thus, Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord weighs the heart. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, <laughs> but the Lord weighs the heart. Oh, yes. And when you go to that, Jeremiah chapter 17, reading verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Hide the law, such as the heart. I test the mind, even to give every man according to his ways. According. And that is a test. For every man that is hearing. God knows how to deal with every aspect. So the heart of a man is one of the parts that really makes everything stand out in a different form. Guard your heart diligently with all your strength and with all your mind. Hmm. Diligently guard your heart. That's the wellspring. Of your life. As we fade out, now at this moment, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel and like, comment, share it with another person. 
and on this one I'm Timothy Profitable and this is Playboy. Before I leave I want uh, Sister Fanny to continue with the song. God bless you so Benny Fane is in YouTube. You can go there and subscribe to her channel. And uh, let God bless you as you continue, as much as you continue, much as you continue. Continue watching. Go to the comment sections and give us your comment. God bless you. See you.